Hey, what up folks, this is GK. So of late I am seeing uh, NA10 keywords in DevOps job descriptions, which means that we have to learn NA10 platform and create some use cases around it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple chatbot, simple DevOps FAQ chatbot that you can set up on your workstation or on your desktop. And it's going to be completely free. So you can install NA10 as a hosted version instead of using uh, the paid version which is available on internet and also you can either use some credits of uh, Google AI studio as an LLM or you can look at the way I have done using Olama which I have installed on my desktop as well. So it's completely free, it's completely hosted based chatbot. So this way you can get started with N8 and try to understand how you can start with the basic stuff. And then you can eventually go into the complex use cases like how to set up N8 or how to use N8 as part of your DevOps, CI, CD, you know, use cases, etc. So first things first, um, I have taken the notes here. Uh, so we have to first install Olama. Uh, for that, type here and uh, download Olama. It shows you multiple options if you're using it for Linux, Mac OS or Windows. Since I'm using it for Windows, Download for Windows, it is next, 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 and that's it. So you will have Olama installed, and it is similar to chatbot based experience. Now you have to select one of these models. So it, this is a, about uh, three gig, if I'm not wrong. So once you select that, it will download the model, and then you can ask your questions like, uh, what are common DevOps interview questions, etc. This is going to answer you like how chatbot does. So it's it's free, it's available on your desktop. Now, remember uh, we have to use this model from N810, right? So this model has to be exposed via an HTTP endpoint and it has to run in some port. So when you run the Olama and just minimize this, if it is running properly, then you can access that using 11434 port in your local host, right? So once you type this on your Chrome, it should show that Olama is running. Perfect. Now the next step is that we have to install N8N. You can always follow documentation Go to N8 and docs. Once you go to the website, you can use N8 and then you can try options that choose the right N8 and for you. So click on options and here select the Docker one. And uh, I'm assuming that you already have the Docker desktop if you're using Windows or Mac um, or Docker whatever version, if you're using Linux, then you don't have to worry about Docker desktop. You can just install Docker directly on your Linux. So I already have a Docker desktop. So I'm gonna quickly start that. So now I, I don't know if you can hear, but uh, my desktop is actually started to make a lot of noise because the fans are rotating very fast because of the GPU uh, to cool down the GPU. But basically now we have a Docker desktop, Olama, and I'm also using OBS to record this. So we have heavy softwares that are currently running. Now to start the NA10, this is a very simple command, docker run, it will pull the image of N8N and uh, it's going to set your time zone. You have to modify this part. And there is one more important parameter that I'm going to paste in the description. And also maybe I'll just give it as a readme file. Uh, but basically another thing that you want to add here is add host docker dot internal host gateway. So basically what this does is that uh, it will access our machines gateway uh, and uh, since N8 N is also running inside a Docker container, now N8 N has to access your Olama, which is running in whatever port and in localhost of your desktop. So if you do not give this, then your container cannot access your, your gateway and cannot hit the Olama LLM model. 
and this is the only change besides the generic time zone and the other parameters which are default okay so i'm going to copy this and right one two okay and run this okay so docker ps should show that the container is running and it is also exposed on 5678 port now let's try that out by hitting it here all right so this is how you can run an 8n on your local desktop so my suggestion is that don't worry too much about what is an 8n what exactly it does you know go don't uh, try to read everything about an 8n now your main objective by following this video is to create a simple chatbot uh, that will help you to prepare for your devops interviews let's say your devops assistant you know devops interview assistant sort of a thing that's all and then once you know this you can do more complex use cases so i'm going to create a create workflow then click here and call it as devops interview assistant so the first step is click on first step and you want to call it as chat trigger okay let's close this chat trigger so now we're going to connect this chat to an ai model right so let's connect that search for ai agent and then here this is all good leave this for now and now the next step is to connect the chat model so here you have multiple llms like i've said you know you can use google google gemini chat model and then fetch the api key from internet then put it here which is fine which is more than sufficient for your testing part or if you want to do everything on your local then like the way i have done you want to click on olama chat model so i already have set it up but basically once you i'll show you how to do this so click on this pencil icon and here you're going to give not local host because lo when you give local host that is local host of the docker container of n8 right so here we have to give host dot docker internal 11434 that is what we have uh, you know added as a host when we ran this right model is uh, available through this base url okay so this there is and there is no api key so we're going to leave that and now once you do retry the connection has to be successful so once it is done you're going to see the model that we have downloaded like i was saying before so what model we have g gamma 3 4 so that is what it is going to be showing here and uh, for the first time if it doesn't show just click on escape on your keyboard you know and go back here and then select the model it happened to me so if it doesn't show just do it again by uh clicking on escape and then going into that model so now let's quickly try this out so we have a, a chat interface we have a chat message that we going to type and then it's going to connect to the olama model um, the local llm model and then give me the response so i can say hi who is this all right as you can see the output is that i'm gamma a large language model created by whatever deep mind i'm an open weights model etc etc i can process both text and image okay perfect and uh, you can see the output is also shown here but now we want to modify this chat bot as a devops assistant so that's the main purpose of this video so for that the trick is that we have we have to tell this model how to behave you know that's an important thing so
So to generate that behavior, you can use chat GPT and create this system message. Okay. So copy this again, I'm going to put this in the MD file, but basically we are telling the model to basically we are, uh, to make it very simple. We are giving the model a job description in a way it's going to behave within that. Okay. Uh, because it should not randomly answer anything else besides the DevOps, you know, FAQs or interview questions. So double click on again, double click on the AI agent and go to add option, click on system message. So just remove this whole thing and paste it here. That's it. Now again, come out of this by clicking on escape. So now you can see that there is some change. That's why it is showing as a low icon. Now, if I go back and reset chat session, now let's say hi. Now the behavior of the chat has completely changed. Now you can see that the output it is, it is showing us is hi, how, hi there. How can I help you? Are you interested in discussing the DevOps entry of AQ or do you have a specific question about it? See, now it has become more like your chatbot FAQ, uh, DevOps FAQ, right? So now the next question I'm going to ask is, give me some interview questions for Kubernetes. Okay. So now, um, it gave me a couple of questions. Like what, what is Kubernetes pod? What is Kubernetes service? Basic questions and then difference between namespace and a pod. And there are intermediate questions as well, like pod labels and selectors. And let's see if there are advanced questions. Advanced questions are about uh, explain the concepts of namespace, resources, quotas, and limit ranges, which is a good question. And then how do you troubleshoot pod which is stuck in crash loop back off state? So good. Now, uh, one thing to remember if you're getting confused between what is system message, like I've said, system message is just to tell your AI agent how to behave. Now, if you want to make it even more complex, you can use RAG implementation and, you know, uh, use vector store, etc. Maybe if you're interested in that part, let me know in the comment section, I can try that out and I can show that in um, next video of NA10. But if you want to try this out, please do try this out. And I want you all to have your NA10 installed on your local laptops and create some uh, bots or create some workflows that are more suited for you in your day-to-day -day job. For example, in my current role, I want to create a workflow to generate invoices every month, which I have to submit to the clients. So I want to do that using NA10 so that I don't have to worry too much about like going into you know, uh, filling my hours and generating uh, that into dollars, etc. I want to do that completely through automation. So that's my use case. I want to do that. And then maybe I'll show that how I have achieved that use case. So I hope you're going to take this assignment and uh, practice this at home. And if you do like this video, give it a like and let me know. If, let me know in the comment section if you want me to show more any of these NA10 based videos. Thank you all again for watching this video. Take care. Bye.